recap, we're here at the Motor Gym. We're at 989 West Sandy Lake Road. Let me go and shake the hand of this man beside me, Jason Sampson. Jason, it's always good to see you. How you doing, first of all? I'm feeling good, man. Just, uh, just losing that weight, you know. Getting down. Yeah, that's the hardest part of my job, getting down and beat someone up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we get into the five fan information, I've got to tell you, Jason, on my way over here, this is 103 degree weather. Look what this man has on. I'm over here, I'm sweating. Heck, I've got everything catching sweat. What are you doing here in your sweatshirt? Just kind of trying to cut a little weight? Uh, just a little bit, man, like uh, 20 plus pounds. But, but, uh, <laughs> but once I make 36, man, on Friday at 5 o'clock, it's going to be all the good. Okay, well, let's get down to the five fan information. Let's go ahead and move to what's going to be happening. I know today is June the 14th. It's Tuesday. You've got a big fight, or at least in my heart it is. And I think the five fans here in North Central Texas thinks it's a big fight coming up. It's going to be scheduled, what is scheduled for June the 18th over in Amarillo. That's the only bad part about it. Tell me who are you climbing in the cage with. We all know, but I just want you to tell us. Uh, uh, Randy Viriel, and uh, so it's, uh, it's good. It's a good matchup for me. and. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'll leave all the, the, the BS or, you know, all the talking <laughs> shit out, but, uh, <laughs> uh, Randy, I saw your little clip with, uh, with Roland? My, my boy Roland here, and it's, it's good, man. So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, all fun and games, business is business, and, you know, you know it's Okay, let's get down serious, and really, I want to get serious here, and I know that we have, we play a lot on Roland's recap. In, in, in maybe the words going back and forth, but let's get down to the five fan information. You're at seven and zero. Oh. You know no defeat, Jason. You're one of the hottest, hottest area. Six and zero. Oh. oh, you're six and zero. Oh. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Six and zero. Oh. You uh, be seven and zero oh Saturday. <laughs> okay, that's what I was going to ask you. You yeah, stole so my thunder. Go ahead. Uh, we'll be seven and zero oh Saturday. You know it's gonna it's gonna take a lot to whip my ass. And uh, you know Randy, uh, you know like I said, I give my hat off to Randy uh, time and time again for. Uh, being Zach George, but Zach, fuck Jeff, Zach George. Definitely, like he's not on my level. You know, uh, he has no jujitsu, and uh, Randy ain't got some jujitsu, but you know, he's not on my level. But I mean, uh, I like Randy a lot. You know, he's good. Uh -huh. Sure. And, uh, sure. You know, just business, and uh, and uh, I think he's a good, good guy. And uh, but you know, just came across my path, and uh, and I, man, nine months later, I finally got a fight, and he finally stepped up. And uh, you know, Randy's a tough kid. He's a, he's a game opponent. Uh -huh. but, uh, sure. But, uh, man, best man wins, you know, but uh, it's going to be a war. Well, I want to take my hat off to both of you guys. First of all, this is business. And, Fight Fans, I want you to understand this. These men talk a great game from the standpoint of what they're going to do in the cage. And that's what counts. When you talk this and you do it in the cage, that's what you call business. I don't call it talking smack. I talk, I, I can't, I'll say it again, I think it's business as we fight fans want to see. You're climbing in the cage. Anything you've done special for this fight? Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, I haven't fought in nine months. Um, so, you know, the, the biggest thing is down is my diet and my, my weight. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's the hardest part of my job. Uh, but uh, different, uh, you know, uh, I don't see, uh, I, I really haven't done anything different. Gotcha. Uh, uh, just keeping the same game plan and, uh, you know, uh, just gonna, Oh, you know, open up when he, uh, he's, uh, he has a week. Yeah, yeah. But I uh, just fill him out a little bit and I'm going to go. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys have probably checked each other out, you know, some Protestant films and probably already got your little arsenal, you know, prepared on what their, what his strength is, what your strength is. You're going to try to, you know, equalize that. I know you probably don't want to talk about that right now. I'm not going to even ask you the question. That's unfair for me to ask you that. My next question is this. As you guys are going up to Amarillo, I want to make sure the five fans know this information. It's going to be in Amarillo. It's going to be June the 18th. It's going to be promoted by Undisputed Mixed Martial Arts MMA. It's going to be at the Gamboa's Outdoor Event Center. You need to be there. As you're going up there, is there anything you want to tell the fight fans if they wish to make that trip up there, what they can expect from this awesome piece of machine right here, undefeated? Yeah, just uh, guys, it's going to be a war. Uh, if you haven't guys seen me fight, I end fights. Uh, I went to one decision uh, because, you know, I was hurt and I still took the fight. But uh, uh, I plan on ending, ending this fight first round. Uh, and I uh, have three rounds of, you know, it's 15 long minutes within the cage. But uh, I think I'm in the first round in the first two minutes. But uh, that's what I, uh, I'm just going to, you know, keep the pressure on and uh, you're going to see a good, good fight. Regardless, you know, win or lose, uh, I'm going to put everything out there and uh, leave everything in the cage. 
So it's going to be a good fight. And I also got my boy JJ Holmes fighting, uh, my boy Doug Frey fighting uh, on that card. So there's going to be a lot of good, good ass at, uh, fights on the card. And uh, I'm sorry I just got to fight Randy, but uh, it's happening. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to shake your hand, champ, because you are a champ and a warrior in my heart. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if you can make that trip, I even I'm right now going to try to make that trip up there because it's going to be an earthquake of a show. I'm going to tell you, June 18th, when you feel the rumble under your feet, it's starting from Amarillo, Texas, on behalf of www.NorthTexasFisticuffs.com. It's been my pleasure to be in an interview with this champ right here in Warrior. Until our next Rollins recap, the voice of North Texas Combative Sports, Roland Gomez.